is Sayuri Sapre, and I am the co-president of the Gender and Sexuality Alliance at Livingston High School. At the high school, we've established a safe space for LGBT teens and allies to support one another, discuss ways to raise money for organizations, and raise awareness for our community. In the past two years, we have held bake sales and donated money to organizations such as the Southern AIDS Co Coalition and the Alley Forney Center, held a day of silence, and our next day of silence is June 6th, and we have raised awareness for important days in our community such as the Transgender Day of Visibility, which is March 31st. And we've also made, um, helped make the high school a more inclusive place by creating gender neutral bathrooms. Establishing a safe space is so important because of the fear and uncertainty of exploring an identity. Understanding your sexuality can be a beautiful, messy, complicated, difficult, and fulfilling experience. And having a space to openly discuss and understand your identity with others going through the same realization as you can be so relieving. Being surrounded by such wonderful and accepting people really helped improve my high school experience. I made so many friends through this club, and being able to walk in the doors of A208 and take a deep breath knowing I'm in a safe place is such a comforting feeling. Understanding your identity can be a difficult process. I'm Indian American, a lesbian, and these two identities have been incredibly hard for me to understand. I've known about my sexuality since seventh grade, and since then I've had so many questions about who I am. I want everyone here to know that it is normal. It's okay to be confused and lost. But I also want everyone here to know that you have a large support system around you. Being able to talk to other people who've gone through what you're going through and can answer questions or provide support is such an amazing feeling. Your doubts and fears are valid, and there are so many people in this area, in your community, and everywhere you go that can help and support you. Remember, you are among open and open-minded and caring individuals. Whatever struggles and doubts you may be going through, you are not alone. I'm very grateful to live in a town where a topic like this is not taboo. It is, for the most part, accepted, and there's a massive group of people here to help support you. In recent years, the LGBT community has made large strides in terms of our rights and treatment in society. We are incredibly lucky to have a rise of acceptance. However, it's important to recognize that our community is still negatively impacted by hate crimes. Six out of 10 LGBT individuals have experienced homophobic verbal abuse. Two out of 10 LGBT individuals have experienced homophobic physical abuse.